everyone, it's Alexis from Triple Queens, and today we are going to be doing, well, we are going to be doing a honeycomb bun on Kanani's hair. I'm just going to say this works on Kanani because of her long hair, but if you try it on another doll, I'm not sure if it will work because I haven't done it because I just made this up like last night. If this bun already does exist, I'm really sorry because I was just kind of fiddling around with her hair and then... I just kind of did this and it looked really cool so that's why I called it the honeycomb bun but yeah it's actually very simple okay before we get started you will need a spray bottle of any kind some bobby pins and um a wired brush, but right now I'm using a pick from American Girl because I currently do not know where my wired brush went. AKA, I probably lost it. Whoops. And an elastic. Okay, so I'm going to try to film as best as I can because she's not been cooperating, but it works. So, what you're going to start with is spraying her hair down with a spray bottle and then combing it out with your wire brush or your pick like I decided to use because I know I lost mine. Nope, ugh. I am struggling. Okay, hold on. Oh, come on. Okay, now that I have her hair all combed out, you want to take um, her hair and get it, brush it into a ponytail. Just a simple ponytail. And then you want to take your elastic and Put it in. Okay, now that her ponytail is all brushed out, you want to divide it into two sections, like this. Two equal sections. And you take one of the sections and you twist it. And then all you simply do is wrap it around the elastic. See, all I did was wrap it around the elastic. And then hold your piece of hair and take your bobby pin and pin it down just stick it in the bun just like that and if you want to use more bobby pins to make it more secure you are welcome to i usually use about two or three so i'm just like shoving it into the bun to hold it in place i always like to do one in the back too Okay, and then now that you've done that and it stays, you want to take your other side and twist it. You wrap it around the same way, because it's easier. Sorry. And then you take your bobby pin and you pin it down into your hair to hold it in place. You see this lumpy thing right here? You can just pin that down as well. If you have a bubble or a loose piece of hair, you can always just take your bobby pin and just pin it into the bun so it looks natural. So, when I'm at this step, I just like to put a bunch of bobby pins everywhere to make sure it's holding and it's secure in place. So 
so that's basically how you do your honeycomb bun. Some do turn out better than others, like I think the one before was better than this one, but you still get the idea. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!